Hi, it's Dave and update from last week when I was quite sad and I'm a lot happier now. So I need to clarify a few things and firstly actually just thanks for all the support. I mean the messages I've had on email, on YouTube, on my phone, for those of you who've got my contact details, uh, has been amazing and the flood of advice and recommendations even right down to why don't you just stick a, like a an old wankel engine in the boot and just tell them that, that you know that, that's the engine and make, make good with it but um i need to clarify a couple of things because uh i had my understanding a little bit wrong last week which was i was tying in the v5 information with the mot information and um, i've now learned that actually they are two separate things so just to clarify last week i already knew that i couldn't change the v5 to electric there's a 2001 legislation uh, that says you you can't sorry legislation that cars registered after 2001 you can't um, reclassify so lots of people say well actually there's other legislation that contradicts that and some of it I agree with some of it I don't and to be quite honest I think it's a bit irrelevant what I think because uh, the legislation just needs changing it's not a DVLA problem um, you're just going to meet roadblocks if you go down the DVLA route just as I have and lots of other people so uh, what I then found was that lots of people saying, well, actually, you can change the MOT database to electric. And that's what my guys with the MOT last week couldn't do. The computer just said no. So I work in IT and enough people was com were coming to me saying, no, look, you should be able to do this. I've had my van registered. I've done my Porsche. I've done this. And, uh, and there are cars on the road, MOT, home EV cars, that is. So uh, I went back to the garage today and said, look, you know, I've got this wording from the DVLA that seems to say that this is what you do, change it to electric on the MOT, and MOT is an electric car. We went back to the computer system and it is a bit convoluted. It's not quite as straightforward as you might think. And uh, it's more just the validation of the MOT website that's a pain than any kind of legislation or, or you know, uh, configuration or anything, really. So for anybody that wants to get their electric car MOT'd, this is what you have to do. When they register your car on the MOT website, which is a government website, the classification will be petrol in my instance. You have to click change on that and it will bring up another box that will say what do you want to change it to. If you change it to electric and then click next to carry on, you'll be met with an error message. You can't, you can't proceed because um, you can't have a capacity with an electric engine. Well, it's odd because there wasn't a capacity box. So you have to go back round again. So if you then select, no, so then you've got your petrol and you've got a capacity under it. You go, aha, set the capacity to zero, fine. Change it back to electric, the capacity disappears again. Click next and it says, oh no, can't have a capacity with an electric motor. Yeah, oh, oh, for God's sake. And that's where the guys last week when they went to MOT the car got stuck. They couldn't go, couldn't go any further. Um, obviously I work in IT, so I was like, well hold on, let's just go back again. And uh, this time, instead of selecting zero, let's just leave it blank. Let's just delete what's in that field and see if we can get past the validation. Because it was just a web validation form at the end of the day. So we left it clear. We then selected electric. The field disappears because you don't need to fill it in. Click next. And it went, classification changed. <laughs> so for anybody who gets in the same position as me, and I know there are lots of you out there because I've had the messages of people in the same boat, um, and all you guys who are doing conversions who have said, shit, I might actually have to stop. Well, this appears to be a workaround for it. Now, I can't guarantee how long this is gonna last. This might be something that they revoke on the MOT website, they stop it from happening. But right now, it'll happen. Uh, you can change it to electric, you can then get your car MOT. So, I'm booked in again. The beast da -da, is booked in for Thursday again, Thursday morning. Um, they're absolutely flat out the MOT station, so they said, "Look, we'll we'll, we'll sneak you in, um, and uh, they're gonna have it all day. Just get it done when they can do it." So that's great news, really good news. I'm just desperately now that it'll get through the MOT. A few little things I have done on the car while I've been waiting, um, fairly minor really. I've got high voltage stickers on high voltage stuff. Uh, I've done a cover for the um, main connectors to the inverter. So that was, I had a cover that stopped them bumping into each other, but nothing front and back. So that's there. It is only cable tied in place, but you know, I'm probably gonna remove that. So I don't want to 
batter things down too tightly. Uh, I've done a bit of other cable tidying in there, so it's all looking quite neat now. Cables aren't trapped on anything or rubbing against things, so that's all, all nice in there. Um, oh, and my gear stick arrived, or my gear knob. Um, Ta-da! I quite like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. It's not a genuine RX-8 one because they're like gold dust to get a decent one. So that's just some import from China. It's taken, you know, 60 days to get here, <laughs> but it's here and I really like it. Works really nice. It looks really nice and it's red and it matches. So that's good. That's in there now. Uh, what else have I done in the boot? I think I've done a couple of other tidying in the boot. Probably nothing really to, to talk about. Nah, just some cable tidying again, just getting it out of the way, making it in as neat as possible and as safe as possible and stopping things from rubbing. That's kind of been my latest criteria is, is there a wire that looks like it might rub on something and then fray and short circuit? So that's been kind of my remit now of just making this car as uh, safe and durable as possible. So look, I think that's me done. Um, great news. I'm going to get it MOT'd, fingers crossed, and, um, and I'll report back on Thursday, I guess. But anyway, thanks again for all your support. I really, I just, I just can't believe the amount of support, <laughs> to be fair. But thank you very much for everybody um, who's been in touch. And I, as I say, I will keep you updated in the week and uh, we'll get this thing on the road. Thank you.